everyone, Belinda here from Horror Tree, back again for 2023 with my Horror Tree weekly wrap up. And first off, before I start, I would like to say I hope everyone had a wonderful new year and let's hope 2023 is amazing and wonderful and just kick ass. So hopefully it's a great year for everybody. So as usual, I will be talking about four submission calls that are currently up on the Horror Tree website. So let's get started. Okay, first up is Weird Horror. These guys are after stories of horror and weird fiction. They are after stories of a word count between 500 and 6,000 words, and that is a firm word count. Anything above or below that word count will not be read. Um, simultaneous submissions are okay. Multiple submissions are not. Payment is one and a half US cents per word. A minimum payment of $25 plus two copies of the print edition. Submissions open on the 1st of March and close on the 31st of March 23. And there is a note for this submission call, guys, where the publisher states that they receive about a thousand manuscripts each submission period and accept less than 2% of submissions. So if you do receive a form rejection, please do not be discouraged. Okay, moving on to Planet Bizarro. These guys are looking for novellas and novels. So they want to publish your exciting, well-written Bizarro stories. So for those unfamiliar with the theme, think of the weirdest story you've ever read, then times that by potato. So for novellas, they want a word count of between 20,000 and 40,000 words novels between 40,000 and 80,000 words, and short story collections may also be considered. Payment is 50% share in book royalties plus five author copies. The submissions opened on the 1st of January and they close on the 1st of March. Now, I strongly suggest you see the, the website for more details on their submission call because it is very detailed. Okay, moving on to Hellbound Books Publishing and they're Madame Grey's Graveyard Anthology. So the theme, it is open to all subgenres of horror, as long as the story takes place in or is connected in some way to a cemetery. The more ghoulish, the better. The scarier, the merrier. And a bit of gallows humour is always welcome, but not required. Um, Well-written tales that are off the beaten path with a twist ending stand the best chance of getting accepted. They are after stories of between two and a half and 8,000 words. Payment is $5 plus a contributor's copy and the submission windows close on the 1st of August, 2023. So plenty of time to work on your, your story for this one, guys. And last, not least, never is, the tide rises, the tide falls, an oceanic literary magazine poetry contest. So for the poems out, poet, poets out there, sorry, for the poets out there. So the theme for this is seasick. Think global warming and the way humanity is affecting the ocean. Think melting glaciers, bleached coral, hurricanes, flooding, etc. They are after poems for this, and I could not see a word count, so please correct me if I'm wrong, but I could not find one. Payment is, so it's a competition, so the winner will get $50, and honorable mentions will get $10, and the submissions close on the 1st of March, 2023. Okay, so starting off the new year with the bang guys, with some amazing submission calls by amazing publishers, and some fan bloody tastic opportunities to get your work out there and get published. So if any of these submission calls appeal to you, please jump on the Horror Tree website. All the information you need is up on there. Get on there, check it out. If you are liking these videos, please, please subscribe, hit like, hit comment, hit share. If you have any feedback, we would absolutely love to hear from you. We always love hearing from you guys. And if you are thinking of submitting to any of these submission calls, good luck, all the best. And until next time, guys, thank you as always. Thank you for watching. And until next time, stay safe, stay cool, and stay spooky. See you later.